Leia here from LeiaFirstSci.com, and in this video I will show you how to name alkynes using the IUPAC system. Before we can name alkynes, you have to know how to recognize them in a molecule. An alkyne occurs when you have two pi bonds between the same two set of carbons, also known as a carbon-to-carbon -carbon triple bond. The hybridization of the carbon that holds the alkyne is sp, which means that it has a bond angle of 180 degrees and the shape of the molecule will be linear. Let's draw a simple alkyne, for example C, triple C, single bound to H. This is ethyne, commonly called acetylene. If you compare this to a two carbon alkane, we'll have the H, C, single bound CH, but we also have two additional sets of hydrogens. As we place each pi bond, we have to remove two hydrogens which gives the alkyne a hydrogen deficiency index of 2 and the formula of CnH2n minus 2. This is compared to the formula of an alkane for CnH2n plus 2 due to the difference of 4 hydrogens. When drawing an alkyne in line structure, remember that the bond angle is 180 degrees. People will often draw an alkyne almost like an alkane by adding two bonds, but this is incorrect. And this is because the alkyne is linear and has to be drawn as a straight line. When reading this structure though, don't forget that the triple bond starts and ends on two carbons, but you also have two additional carbons on the end of the chain. To name an alkyne, you follow the same rules that you would for standard IUPAC naming, and that means we first identify the parent chain. Given that the alkyne occurs in the middle of the molecule, I can start numbering from the right or the left and I have a total of four carbons giving me a first name of Butte. Because I have a triple bond in the molecule, I get a last name of Y-N-E, or Ein. I place a number two in front of the Ein to specify where the triple bond occurs on the molecule, and this gives me a final name of 2-Butyne. Let's try another example. For this example, recognize that we have a terminal alkyne because the triple bond is at the end of the molecule. I start by highlighting the parent chain. When the alkyne is your highest priority, you start numbering from the side that will give it the lowest number. I start numbering from the left and get a total of 5 for a first name of Pent. Since the triple bond occurs on number 1, I have 1 ein for a final name of 1 pentine. For this example, I have a substituted alkyne, and once again I start by highlighting my parent chain. I have the option of numbering from the left where I hit a methyl group at carbon 2 or numbering from the right where I hit the alkyne at carbon 2. When you have a substituent and a triple bond that both have the same number, the substituent gets highest priority and that means I have to start numbering from the left. Seven carbons in my parent chain gives me a first name of hept. Hitting my triple bond at carbon 5 gives me a last name of 5 ein and my methyl group substituent on carbon 2 gives me 2-methyl. Putting the name together, I have 2-methyl-5-heptine. A diine is not as scary as it sounds. It simply means that you have two carbon-to-carbon -carbon triple bonds on the same molecule. We'll use this molecule as an example, and once again we start by highlighting the parent chain. In this case, I have a terminal alkyne on the left, and so we start numbering from the left, to get a total of seven carbons for a first name of hept. Since I have two triple bonds occurring on carbon one and carbon five, I start with the last name of diine to show that I have two triple bonds, but I also have to include both numbers giving me one comma five. Putting this name together with the numbers preceding the diine, I get hept one five diine. If I choose to put the numbers in the front of the molecule, I have something interesting occur. I have 1,5-hept diine, but because T and D are both consonants and don't flow together, I have to add the letter A so I get 1,5-hepta diine to make the molecule read better. In the next video, we'll look at how to name a molecule that has both an alkene and an alkyne in the same molecule. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, download my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry, using the link below, or visit layofersci.com slash orgo secrets. That's O R G O secrets. For information regarding online tutoring, 
visit layofferside.com slash orgotutor. That's O-R-G-O tutor. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and even share it with a friend or two. If you have any questions regarding this video, leave a comment below or contact me through my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash layofferside. There will be many related videos posted over the course of the semester, so go ahead and click the subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss out.